I'm Tom Basil. I'm Joey Evans. I'm Camilla. I'm Z, the Wookie-ish Garcia. Oh. <laughs> Z's in a good mood because today he got donkey juice. I did donkey, donkey, donkey juice. Did Go see donkey our juice. YouTube <laughs> stories for more. Oh, there's a donkey juice story on there. Oh, is there a story? Oh, I saw it. Yeah. That's you right. posted it. No, Chris posted it. Chris posted it. Yeah. Right. I didn't you know were the there. story out of it. There. I was there. I was definitely in the office Bob, today. When did this happen? Where did this I happen? Partook what? Of donkey juice. You didn't hit it? Oh. No. It's going to blow your mind. Yes. <laughs> I'm busy. Oh, my goodness. You don't know what you Welcome missing. to Crowd Circle. We talk about projects on GameFound, Kickstarter, and BackerKit that are ending in the next seven, eight, or nine days or whatever. Yep, yep. We don't cover them this one. We'll probably cover them the next one. Speaking of this one, it's a good week. It really is. It's pretty good. Like an actual good week. Like I'm not being facetious and like every project is good. You know what I mean? Yeah, no air quotes. A lie. That was was a lie lie that week. Y'all got guys. Well, you know that this week's not a lie and you'll tell us that next week. No, I would never do these things. Again. This is a good week. (laughs) This This is a good week. This episode is sponsored by Backer Kit. Let's take a look at a late pledge you can find there. Today we're taking a look at a game here on Backer Kit, Moon Rollers. So this is this is not funding right now. This is a late pledge you can do for both Moon Rollers and for Dark Matter. Now, Dark Matter is a small little addition that you can get to Moonrakers. But hey, if you want to pick up a game, I love, you know, coming to Backer Kit and surfing around looking at these old games. So Moon Rollers is based on uh, Moonrakers, and but it's it's a it's the dice game. So in this game, it's the same crew. You'll notice if if, if you're like the different theme of the different characters and ships, it's the same thing. A fun little dice game where you start with these five dice. You're committing them to requirements, hiring a crew that you need to score different points. And there's also this bonus little micro expansion. And then there's this dark matter expansion, which you can add to Moonrakers. And speaking of Moonrakers, you can still get the, you know, down here you get the collector's edition and extra stuff. And you can get Moonrakers. There's the giant box here and the hollow pack. This is the Titan edition of Moonrakers. So if you want to get a great deck builder and a negotiation, there's not many of those in existence total, you can get that here. So between the getting those deluxe editions, getting Dark Matter, and then, of course, just getting Moonrakers, the dice game itself, you can still late pledge right now on Backer Kit. All right, don't forget, send me weird, unusual, and odd projects. I know I got some from some of you all that you'll not see today because there's that many game projects, yeah, but you never know. We'll have to good fill ones. these future ones. Funny ones, but... No, good game projects today, I mean, but yes, yeah, send funny ones. Yeah. All right, we're going to jump right in. Last week, we talked about some terrain, and I said, I wonder if it's as durable as Dwarven Forge, and oh, lo and behold, Dwarven well, Forge, behold. finally... They're going mm-hmm. to the stars. I, well, you know what? I actually am pretty excited about this. I'm, I haven't bought it yet, because, well, it's, it's pricey. It's what would you do with it? I have a big bin at my house. That uh, full of this terrain already, and Jimmy sometimes will build a gigantic dungeon on the ground with it. Gosh, okay. Totally. So it's, it's like, very like so you use it like as Legos kind of very thing. Very expensive like, yeah. Legos. Yes. No. No, to be fair, Legos are very I was about expensive. To say, come on. No, that is true. About. Okay, that <laughs> is true. All right. I was surprised at the Lego store that those have gone up Ooh. in price. You went to a Lego store they never in the down. airport? Really? When were Lego? I guess Lego I never bricks. bought the official Legos. Let's <laughs> just say. That's true, yeah. Lego is. Has become like a frou frou brand. It really it has, is. right? It like is. some things, like I could, I put it in the same camp. I put like Starbucks. Yes, it that's is a good call. Like the brand recognition, the way they themselves, or like Apple, yeah. where like when Apple products go on sale, people like jump off buildings, and their sales are ten percent. You know what I mean? They're like, right. We'll allow you to sample our various goods ten yeah. percent off. People are like, oh my god, Apple things are on sale. That's how Lego is, I think. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, seeing all those prices at downtown Disney was like... Was like there's there's a checked. line and stuff at yeah. the store. Oh, yeah. There's a bouncer at the door. They're like, they're serious. They are. Yeah. 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 But well, this is not the, Lego. And they yeah. do the whole exclusive thing like, oh, going in the vault. Oh, can't get it. So Dwarven, get it. That, like, fear test. So Dwarven Forge terrain. <laughs> Wait, but Legos. Wait, these are the ones you can run over, you were saying, right? You can run over you this, d- yeah. You can. Can okay. you bring it to the office one day? Yeah. 
No, it's huh. immovable. It's Can so, I borrow it? Okay, did you know there was oh, a documentary break. on the guy that did this on like Netflix for a while? He took it down. Run it over. But Absolutely. how he got his start into this it was very interesting. I'm gonna build a ramp. How he started like molding it and then became this big thing. Yeah, this company it's is this company has done pretty well. You every time I go by the booth at Gen Con, it's beautiful. And the thing, I don't actually think this train is too particularly expensive, but I almost always buy it painted. Oh, I yeah. say, okay, so you have seen it painted. I'd yeah, like well, I mean, it it's definitely, well, remember, I bought dungeon walls. So they're just going to be dry brush for the most part. Yeah, but I still want to see it. I'd like to see it. You should bring it in. I wish I had, this was accessible break. when I played 40K, because this is, like, oh, perfect goodness. for oh, Warhammer 40K. Really cool. I mean, that's what they keep showing. Why would you not? Yeah. That's yeah, really neat. pretty yeah. cool. I like the way that they can use the same pieces and do the inside of a room or a dungeon or mm -hmm. whatever space station. Then flip it, and it's like second floor of a, mm -hmm. a mining facility. Like it's really yeah. neat the way they can put all this stuff together however you want to, and it's whatever setting. So you there's want. no pledge levels. You just pick what you want. But like if you want this, which is a pretty big chunk of terrain, but for paint at five sixty eight, or if I want this whole spaceship for fourteen hundred. What? Wait, wait. How big? Like how big is that really? But oh, like this big. The size of a small apartment. Each piece apartment. is about a two by two. So okay. this is this looks like, for example, God. this one looks like it's four by four feet. That's probably wow. That's bigger than the table. Yes, but it's also twenty five hundred. Oh, it still looks cool, and I do like that they show you it's multiple layouts because I would hate if it was wow. one thing. Oh yeah. my goodness. That's so this is durable thing. enough to like build a castle, castle, and then play like catapult feud or something like that on. Oh, that's interesting. Right. I don't. I think it's kind of chunky, though. It'd be hard to knock it over. You don't know unless you try. We can use steel balls. <gasps> oh, it gives a twenty-five hundred dollar. Yes. Thing. Hey, mama, just got my eye out. <laughs> yes. I think this needs to replace Man. Legos, or not Legos, marbles. All right, Ur, the Royal Game. I'm surprised it took this long for someone to do this. No, well, this has been done before, right? They've definitely. Made this? Made up the rules to err uh, the royal game of Ur. Yeah, well, I, I put it. it on Kickstarter. Okay, fair. They might have mm. done that too, but I don't remember. But yeah, this is basically, you know, what they discovered in the tomb of somebody, and it was like the first board game ever, we think. They don't have rules, obviously. So they kind of figured it out? So they just make up rules and use this layout. We saw this. We saw this one? Yeah, we went to the British History Museum. Oh, the real the one, real you mean. One. Yeah, yeah oh, no, I know. One? Oh. What they don't realize is the rules are printed on the bottom, but no one yeah, moves right? to pick that up and flip that over. Got it in the back of the box. <laughs> well, they had parchment players. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I have... I don't it looks like a pretty random, kind of boring game. Their game yeah. of this, I mean. Did you watch the video of the how to play? Yeah, I did. It's It'll, like you it roll two dice. Thing. You roll two dice, which are very pretty dice pyramid, you know, like D4s. And then if you, it's blanks or gold or silver. Okay, you roll, you can move, you enter new pieces, you're trying to go to the heaven area. It seems kind of But it bland. also, oh, go ahead. I was say, it also seems very, not just random, but also almost like you need, you have to have a cheat sheet, no matter how many it's times. It's like rules so, heavy. Like, yeah, if you have no <laughs> tips, then you can do this move. If you have one, one silver, you can do this. One silver, one gold, this. Two gold, this. However, if it's your second time in a row, or if you're standing up, or it's raining outside, I agree. then you can do this instead. That, you know, and it's like, yeah. or this opens up these four options, unless this happens, and you can't go in someone's space unless you have this, these two tips, which allows that third option. Like, I agree. It was like, ah. this is rules heavy. How did you manage to make this rules heavy? That surprised me. How did you, yeah, because, how'd you like, make a flow chart out of this? Yeah, like <laughs> two game. golds means something if you're if you have a piece here or it was like it was I know yeah crazy I mean, you know, like the a, OG a Mesopotamians would have been like uh no that, I will say it's the only time those D4s make sense though this is the new monopoly D4s. this is the new monopoly in a sense of people are gonna buy this give it as a gift they'll be like look I have a copy of the oldest game in the world it's on my shelf I'm uh, done uh, 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 yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That's or maybe display happen. it. If it's particularly pretty, pretty, they'll leave it out. But this, like, no one's playing this. This is the cups and balls of the board gaming world. All right. Etherstone. Etherstone here. Uh, who's This is from Gonzo. What else have they done? I don't know, but it's from a couple of very celebrated designers. Tang oh, it's oh, from these guys. Okay. Tang Gardens, yeah. Seasons, Darwin's Journey. <clears throat> oh, this is Thunder. Sorry. Oh, yeah. No one has noticed yet that I stuck one of these uh, mm -hmm. sodas in the fridge. 
Did you? That, is that what that black can in there is? Yes. Yeah, nothing we notice. We just like respect boundaries. It's not mine. I didn't touch it. Okay, first of all, I did try doesn't to happen. No. What are you talking about? My apples are still in there. Three days later, we're not going. Touching your apples. No. <laughs> Fine. They're not disappearing. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll give you the pieces that are missing from the can in a couple of days. <laughs> I did try to drink it. So here's the problem with that can set. <laughs> I haven't played the games yet. <clears throat> I pulled it out. They, there's four cans that this company made. They put them in a refrigerator box. There's no writing on the refrigerator box. And I was like, oh, I want to play one of these games. Well, we have four players. Nothing. It does, even the rules. I took them out of the can. They don't tell you what they the players, players are. That is insanity. Wait, is the can the game? Yeah. The can has oh, inside of it. Oh, in the can? Oh, I thought there was a drink in the can. I did too. That's why I was respecting your boundary. If I knew it was a game... That would then you no, don't respect that it. was no. the test. You all bam. What are you talking about? I did. I passed. I <laughs> no, she does shake it every time as she puts it back in there. I do. <laughs> now the lid would have come right off if that happened. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, this I like these guys' games. Sometimes hmm. I like their productions every time. Just about their rules are not great. Yeah. And this they game. often make a nice looking game that has some functional problems. That's also mm. fair. That's a fair assessment. I think this game looks awesome. I love the, it feels and kind of comes across like these, you know, like the trading card game renaissance mm -hmm. that we are currently Dead. having. This feels like it fits right into that with the look, the setting, the world. But it's all in one box. And I like the pedigree here. I like these designers and the stuff they've done before. This is a very captivating project to me. This this. What week. else have the designers done? Well, it's the yeah. uh, Luciani Tachi. I forget which one, but it says yeah. it um, up at the top somewhere. It's just interesting. It's like, <laughs> oh man, this doesn't seem like the kind of game I would expect. This has the the backing or the minds behind it of dry Euro game designers. Oh, you're right. Yeah. But it's it doesn't come across that way. If it's like a modern card game with abilities and effects, they even Combos. even there like combo fantastic yeah. or whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm liking this. I like the factions. I like the look. Yeah, like this the one's one, really talking to me. One die can activate like several cards mm -hmm. going across. Yeah, I like this building. company gets me yeah. every time. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna back their games again. I will say and that then I, I do. That's kind of what pulled me in yeah. was the the Euro <clears throat> designer backing behind because to me it just looks like a lot of other. Yeah. Card game, Which PCG, it does, to be CCG. Fair, yeah. I'm like, eh. Okay, fine. I do enjoy the artwork, but then with that Euro mindset, you know, building this game, then I think it'll be interesting. It's ah, it not good. grabbing me, but it's like, all right, that's interesting. Maybe yeah. it, it may it gives me hope that maybe it's a little bit different than yeah. every other TCG, yeah. CCG. Which person in that picture is the undaunted breather? The one doing all oh. the heavy breathing. Yeah, guy. Person on the left. You think what? is that Did the other know? person? The on the right. It says a great follower that never gets exhausted when joining an attack. No. She also assists other followers in recovering their strength. Oh, oh. yeah, it's the one on the no. right. Uh -huh. Her breathing's daunted. The uh -huh. other one's not. Yeah. It looks like she's politely choking the person. Oh, I agree. You know? If they you're going to do it, do it politely. She's reopening his throat. Yep. This guy is a Digitally. knowledge devourer. I love the names of these. <laughs> Bring me your knowledge <laughs> that I might devour it. I shall eat it. Joyful Agony. Oh, that's a band name. <laughs> that is, right, yeah. absolutely. Alrighty. Night Express. So the people who made Hong Kong um, Blackout did not use up all the black ink in the world. Okay, did you see <laughs> the one that was canceled to this? And then this one, like, all of a sudden people were like, this is funded. But they, they did this before, and totally different artwork. Oh, this really? one I saw, really? I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's on there. If you go... Yeah, go to you, Three oh, really? Creator right there. Yeah, because uh, this one, it. I'm like, I'm interested because I love the look of that. And I'm like, they made a good call and look right there. Oh, it did oh. go very well. Yeah, good. I'm like, man. I looked at that better. and I assumed that was like Wait, this different... is the same game? It's got the same name, so I assume... Wait, I, 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 I assumed all of them were so different. I assumed that it was like, oh, a small little roll and write, and now they're doing a bigger one. Or now they are. Look, I don't know. That's interesting. Click, click. They're the same. Look at the boards. So, <laughs> yeah, you're right. They are the same. Yeah. That's kind of wild. You know what? I have to say, I appreciate that though. If they I had do a too. Kickstarter that they're like, this didn't work. It. Hold on. Let's rework and retry. Not let's try at a hotter month or let's try yeah. at a better timing. You know, they actually put some development work into it, I, I applaud that. Yeah. Throw more ink at it. More black ink. That's a lot of I don't ink, know man. any of these games, though. Keep Cool, Magnia, Come Laud. 
Aaron's. I don't know any of these games. Do you? Cool is a prequel for Stay Cool. Like he's he's talking about this pedigree of games they've done, but I don't know them. It's good artwork, though. What did you think of the game play here? It seems like a really heavy economic game. Yes. Like I immediately, yes. Yes. I was out. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, so, no. I like about trains. I like like three economic games ever, and I don't think this is one of them. Yeah, no. right. And then yeah, just I. This looked way too, not too heavy for me, way too economical. I worry like about not. bloat or lack of streamlining on a lot of these, because there's a lot going on when you watch There this. is. I think a lot of economic games are not necessarily what I would describe as bloated. They're just... Not elegant? Cut and dry. No, they're, it's not even that either. They're very serious. They're spreadsheet yeah. You know, they're like, you want to make money. You need to buy these things, sell them. And they use economic terms, which immediately push me out. I'm like, oh, legalese. Uh, yeah, 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 I don't yeah, want to yeah. play. You know what yeah. I mean? Well, then I think I think I struggle with them too because it's like this ever evolu um, evolution of a market. It's like, oh, this is the worst train unless you do this to it or you move it down on this line <clears> or you <throat> invest here or that. And it's just like way too. It's work. These games are work yeah. for me. You know. So it's it's unfortunately not one that I'm I'm interested in because of that. But Tom's into it. Mm. I don't know. You don't I like, like it. this stuff. Yeah. I really, no, I'm just being thrown off by this. There's too much black. Too much what black. Are you talking here. about. All right, Roth. This will definitely not be picked up by anyone here for pick of the week. Um, from Chip Theory Games. I do like the name of this what? a lot, though. Yeah. Roth. Uh, I like look at that look. board. I like the look it's of this game a lot. A chameleon vomited on there. Oh. Yes, and he had eaten a whole bag of Skittles. <laughs> 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 now I really like the look they of this do. game. Uh, the chip theory games games normally push me out because they're very complex, they're mm -hmm. very heavy, they have a, but their production quality is normally <laughs> astounding. So they're coming at this saying, this isn't really what we normally do. This is lighter, this is a game you can learn in 15 minutes, play in about an hour, mm -hmm. area control. It's got the artwork from the guy who did Radlands, which is what yeah. this is. I like that. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm jiving with this. And Dice it's going to have all the neoprene playmats and all that stuff that they uh -huh. do. Yeah, I'm kind of loving the look. I will say this. Um, I think the amount of artwork is... I, I Because there's no cards in this game, as far as I can tell, it's a dice-driven game. There's a playmat and some dice. And you have a board in front of you. I think it looks so vibrant and so eye-catching, but I feel like when you play the game, there's not really like a deck of cards. Like in Radlands, I love that. Right. <laughs> You're looking through people and it's like, oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at this piece of artwork. There's not that sense of looking at new art throughout the game in this one. Once you see it, that's it. Yeah. Did you see it at West? I did not see it at okay, West. Okay, I'll no. say, I mean, that was, you stole the comment right, right on my mouth. Is that kind of do, thing is, is <laughs> seeing it at West, stuff. the art did not quite come through, which was really disappointing. Really? Yeah, it didn't. Uh, the board, the board is really cool. No, no, no. Oh, I don't know if there's a prototype or not, but I just meant, like, it. there's not a lot to it. Huh. You know, I mean, it's just the board and then your little player board, and there's your character on your player board. And other than that, it was uh, more about the dice and the dice drafting mechanism and that kind of stuff. So I think that's just one because I think it looks fantastic on here. I just wish it did have a little bit more of the art. But um, I think what interested me the most, and I know you guys are don't like this when it's like, oh, and a co-op mode or and a this mode. I, that actually pulled me into this because I don't care for area control. Um, but if you're fighting like a a common baddie, something like that, then mm -hmm. I, I, that mechanism jives a little bit better with me. Um, and so I will say, Chip Theory specifically, I tend to like their cooperative games better than like Hoppelmachus or something like that. But um, oh, yeah. Yeah, so just that tell me, me which in. one the game was designed with. That's all I want the game to tell me. Mm. Was it designed co-op? Then tell me that. Yeah, there's a variance. Yeah, yeah, because I want to play the, the best way. But would the best way be different based on your your like audience based on you no. and your play. I, I, I would like to say yes, but objectively it almost seems like every one of these games that says it does all these things is good at one of Interesting. them. Interesting. Okay. I can't can you guys think of a counter to that? Like a game that's good at more than one? I can only think of one. Right. Orleans is the only one I can think of and that was an expansion made at co op. That one game with the dungeon the, the little dwarves going into the dungeons with the cards. What is that called? Whatever. <laughs> oh, I, you, you put it in your top 100 normally. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I, uh, every, and every year I'm like, 
I never this remember, game? And you never, never bring it in for catch up a loser. I don't remember what it's called. Whatever. Anyway, um, well, yeah. th this right here, that game I like, is co op and, and competitive, and it works well both ways. This one's got area control, dice drafting, all that. One thing I do like the fact that Chip Theory is like, they saw this game as good enough that for them to pivot, there's no chips, whatever. It's something they no normally right. would not do. They thought the game was good enough. To kind of deviate and that's that. marketing now. Come on. I'm hoping every it's, company says that. I'm and they hope they hope they deviate. Stronghold games are like, we're gonna only reprint games. Except for this one, because it's really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, and then really, they made Bear Valley. Chip Theory and <laughs> Queen Games have never let me Too down. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that thought. We'll get there later. All right. Aqua pipe. This oh, one I put on here just because I really like these pipes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know this is not this great, but I looked at that and I was like, that's what looks funky. I put it on the on the thing today. I was yeah. sad that you couldn't turn it on afterwards. I thought it was going to be some sort of like water was going to shoot do through. Do you ever play one of those apps where you do build the pipes and at the end you press it and the water goes yes, through? It's very that, satisfying. Yes, I was waiting for this moment. It never arose. This right. is. It's a very a simple sort of tic-tac-toe-ish kind of game. I would game, play right? this for sure. But you have to be able to fit do. one on top of the other instead yeah. of just changing it, yeah. I might back this. Wait, this is... Wait, is this the guy who makes those others? I wonder if we have some of his other mm -hmm. ceramic Maybe. games. Maybe. It might be that person, yeah. Does he make the nut smasher? No, well you, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've played any of these yeah, games. Yeah, that one's... One I've seen before. Oh, what is Pyramid Land? I, that one caught my eye. I was like, oh, okay. All right, that's okay, now I played that one, that yeah, Tobito. Yeah, yeah. It's the same person. He makes these interesting abstract oh, games. Homemade game. I like this guy. <laughs> Man, I missed, I've missed several of these, actually. Go back to Pyramid Land. That's like, can you add it? Is that like an all in for all I of these? I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, he makes only a few. I think these games are pretty rare. Like, really? he, he makes the ones he makes, and that's it. Uh, yeah. I like that. Flashpoint Ooh. Legacy of Flame. So, so we, we talk a lot about legacy games, and, and some things work with them and some don't. But I'll tell you what. As soon as I heard this, I knew nothing else about it. And I was like, yes. Done. Absolutely. I'm interested yes. because this is what I wanted from Flashpoint. A legacy game that's co-op. First of all, we it's been proven that co-op and legacy works pretty well. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And secondly, if you can have a story, you already have the story. Yeah. Things are burning down. I mean, I'm assuming... There's an arsonist involved, I would have guessed. It's going to be something, you know? yeah, no, right. if it's semi-co-op, that would just... But then again, one like, oh, but I mean, like, you're putting out rounds. fires. I mean, yeah, I agree. But I, I agree. love the idea of, like, the evolving characters of it. Your firefighters are going to get better, depending on how they do. I don't know, maybe the buildings are going to retain that damage. <sighs> or after it's damaged, can you rebuild it and add on, like, an, I don't know, like, so many things that's... immediately that they could do with this. I don't know. They could. As far as I can tell here, it looks like you played 12 games. Each game is in a new place that's burning. I don't think you go back to, like, the scene of a burn and bur it burns again. But your people do get better. Right. They evolve. You put stickers on them. And then when you're done playing the 12 campaign, you know, settings or whatever, then you have your characters that you've made mm -hmm. and you can play them in any of the 12 maps. Right. And so that's... Or the original characters. Mm hmm They oh, said yeah. that in the video, which is interesting. So I don't think there's... There must be some semblance of a story here, but I don't think it does what you were talking about, where, like, the bill... I don't think you take... You, I hope. You're just a firefighter, not like... You don't get into the construction business. Wait, wait, no, not the construction, but I'm saying, like, can that happen? The board, board point is, I think this is the kind of game where you can... that evolution is natural. Absolutely. It does make yeah. sense. That all the things they could do with it. I mean, if this is... If it's in this one, is it not... Those ideas get me excited about I this know. legacy game. Yep. I hope it has those surprises that, like, the first season of Pandemic had. Things like that, they can have it easily. Things I'm happy about. I Great price that. point. Yes, that's yeah. the thing. I like the theme. Yes, Things fire. I'm worried about. Yes. Indie Boards and Games production is not great. Yes. And who's the designer? They're not putting that forefront. I'm assuming, uh, it, it said at the top here? There it is. Ken Franklin, Chris Leader, and Kevin Rogers. I don't know those guys. Maybe did, they're great, did, but you know Chris original? Leader probably. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do know Chris Leader. I'm sorry. I don't know those guys in terms of legacy. Okay. You know, so legacy is a tricky thing. It yeah. hasn't been done well. Like, I'm not saying you have to have Rob Davio, but did they consult with him, um, or they you know, or Matt Leacock, or other people who've been involved in these? Maybe these guys did it. Maybe they've studied those. But I do, I do worry about that because it's yeah. really easy to mess up a legacy game. Mm -hmm. And when a legacy game gets messed up, I can't go look up the FAQ. It's got to be good That's out true. the gate. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, I think 12 games sounds like a good length. I mm -hmm. think replayable at the end is a good idea. It looks a little bit sort of like pandemic uh, season zero with the way the leveling up works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, my biggest yeah. concern is legacy <coughs> games can sometimes get in their own way. You know, mm -hmm. we saw that with one where it's just like everyone, the new rules you have to learn on top of the last rules and remember and implement is as much as the actual gameplay time. Right. Uh, but that being said, I am super excited about this. Yeah, because I like the base game a lot. So that's that's a positive for me. Yeah. Every legacy game where I knew the base game, Ticket to Ride, Clank, uh, Pandemic, have all worked well. Mm -hmm. This would be the first Machiko. This would be the first one that doesn't work if it doesn't work. Right. That was based on based a on something right. that is cooperative. Yeah. Yeah. And the theme is perfect for it. That's oh, okay. It really is. Yeah. I, I do hope like halfway through it stops being about firefighting and becomes about something like aliens. Construction. Right. Oh, yes. That'd be great if Flash you find out, like, oh, actually, all the fires in town are spreading because of an alien invasion. Oh, my gosh. You got the War of the Worlds packet come up. All right. Has anyone here played Nexus? Nexus no. Ops. No. I've been getting a ton of ads for this one on my Facebook. Really? I do like that it's pre-painted. That's cool. And yep. I, I, the reason I'm asking is because it looks like a game I think would be fun. Because it doesn't look that complex. It's just like a skirmish battle game from what I was right? yeah, yeah. picking up on. Right? Yeah, I like that. I don't know that it's I love cool. the weird mutinated freakazoid things. Of course, that's like my favorite part. That <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, all right. The I like the vibe here. It seems very lighthearted. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, it's like, yes, miniatures, but pre-painted, oh, which is looking good. Mm -hmm. And the theme and the vibe is very like... Even in the video, the guy's like, ah, discover new stories, new things that are going to come out of your sessions. Mm -hmm. It seems like a game designed for you to laugh with and right. enjoy the story and have, like, funny memories of getting in there. And then this one tentacle monster showed up and you had to fight him. And whatever, you know what I mean? Like, Doesn't take itself seriously. Yeah, yeah. Right. I like that yeah. vibe. It seems to very be designed for that very purpose. Yeah, to be just that... Brawl, like you know, just go in the pit and brawl, brawl out, you know, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we've ever gotten this because I, I think, what does if the game shows up with pre-painted miniatures, I think oh, that shoots notice. to the top of the queue. You this would is notice. the second expansion, is that right? Oh. This whole unsanctioned they've done seven things before. Let's see what they've done. I know they've done a couple in this world. I don't remember. Nexus canceled, canceled. Took them all to get a Nexus <laughs> to the table. <laughs> yeah, it's basically okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever it is, they found their groove. Yeah. All right. The Red Dragon Inn Adventure is nigh. Four <sighs> new characters. But this is based on a YouTube D&D &D series. YouTube D&D &D series never worked. They're never good. Um, and this is just a character that was a for joke. normal. I want to be clear before I get too many <laughs> negative comments. I did not know anything about it. I watched no. the video and I'm like, I don't know what Adventure is nigh is. I guess yeah. I'm, I'm just super not in on the joke. The guy narrating kept mentioning the characters and I guess funny things that have happened in right. the D&D campaign. And I'm yeah. like... Which is really cool, I think, if you're in that and you know yeah. it and seeing these jokes here. Uh, what did you think about them offering the product with the two different artwork? Art. Oh, like I think that for me, if I'm a Red Dragon in person who's a completionist, I would insist on that because this art doesn't match the right. rest of it. I think I think it's the way to go in something like this with this crossover is is you know, hey, pick your style. I don't know how sustainable it is as right. a product, you know, but definitely because I would strongly want one of them, you know, yeah. unless wild, I was into the other right? thing, then I'd strongly want that one, you know. So I yeah. think it's people are gonna feel so strongly about it that it's a good call. I just think it's crazy that they paid for artwork. Basically twice. That's that's wild. Having two sets of artwork just to let people pick. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Also, is the four corners getting a set like this? <laughs> <laughs> it's the four coins. But anyway, oh, um, okay. isn't it the four corners? The four coins? Is that it's what it is? Okay, I didn't know what he was referencing until you said coins. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna call it four corners. <laughs> it's a different thing. A different thing. I did. All right. Base is loaded. Twenty forty five. Plus a new all-star expansion. I really wish they would hand this game uh -huh. to their in-house. Well, he's not really in-house, but he does all the rest of their games. Um, who's the guy who does all their graphics? Um, what company is it? Eagle Griffin. Who does the Los Arita games? Mm. Oh, uh, Ian O'Toole. Ian O'Toole. Yeah. Why can't they let Ian O'Toole do the baseball oh, one? I wish they would, yeah. 
No, this has that look. Uh, has had that look for ages now. I will say. Yeah, I, we should keep it. I would say I really like the the look of the characters of the robots and you know the cyborgs, that kind of stuff. But the actual game itself is like. Woof. Oh, I really, like, I, really I really like this really, game. It's a good game. Yeah. Yeah. Not saying how it looks. Not saying how it looks. No, yeah. no, no, not how it plays. How it looks. It's, but it's not like, a looker. <laughs> huh? I'll tell you. I would love for somebody to set in baseball highlights here. Uh, the four coins nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was seamless. No one even noticed. Nope. <laughs> All right. So again, I this this feels like I don't know that this is a jumping on point necessarily. I mean, I guess it is, but it feels like hey, you love the game. Here's more stuff. Yes. Because the, the fans Doing of this well. game are very enthusiastic, and it is probably the best baseball game there is. But it's a weird baseball because it's in the future with cyborgs and robots, and it's kind of it like a very be. complicated game of war. Not complicated. No, not. Gearworks Deluxe Edition plus new promo cards. I'm going to let you guys talk about this because I really didn't like Gearworks at all. I don't. I didn't know. I haven't played it, but I don't think I would like it either. It seems it's like a puzzle game, right? Yeah, it's sort of like just. It got compared to Sudoku. I love Sudoku. This did not make me think of Sudoku. Um, Wait, I'm, confu I'm sorry. I'm confused. What are you guys talking about? The gameplay Gear for Gear Works. This like you've played this game? No, it's Tom no has. I just watched the video. I think Tom has. I this guess. is a they found. They, they even no, said they're like what I gave the We ranking. found some in a and warehouse. A it was underneath Ur. <laughs> <laughs> they literally said, like, oh, we found some in a warehouse, so we're bringing them back. Okay, so this is a reprint of yeah. a game? Yeah, it might not I even be a reprint. It, it might be like a, a reissue. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, Tom's I thought this played was a new it. game. Okay. I never played it. It does not look interesting to me. It no. kind of looks very, not just abstract. I like abstract. This looks dry. Yeah. It, yeah, it, I, I don't love Sudoku. Um, I'll do it if you know I have to because it's a school assignment or something. No, that's but not a real school assignment. I don't think. Wh why are you saying Sudoku? Yeah, well, it's compared to that. It's sort of compared to the with the you can the play this here, not here. Sort of compared to Sudoku. They said it so. But even at that, this just seems like one of those games that uh, maybe I'm dumb, but I'd play something or but you can't do that because of this. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, here. No, you can't do that because of this other role. Ah, I understand there's only three placement rules, but those together, it just seems like it would just be locking up and like, I'll play this because I can, right? right. <laughs> Fine. That's right. my move. Man, I don't remember <laughs> like, what uh, I said about this game. It's been six years you. now. Yeah, go, go ahead. Play it. I'm, I'm happy to sit here for like the entire video. video. Give it, please. Oh, yeah, there's a comment that I was dumb because I didn't understand. I didn't like it because because I'm dumb. Ooh, That's what, what that? it is. All right. Who is Miller? Quest over coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Quest over coffee. What do you got here for us? You're, oh, you're oh, you. drinking all the That's, coffee. First of all, loves A, quests, and B, coffee. Mm -hmm. And B, They have again, a print and play. This looks like a print and play. Is it a print Okay, play? I will tell you. Did you back this? I did already. Yes. But listen. <laughs> Why? Why? Right. It's going to destroy you your yellow cartridge. This guy also made Hunt. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, it is okay. always the cartridge that runs out first, too. It does. Right? No, it no, is that yellow. Yep. Okay. This guy also made Hunted. Both of those, the Alien and the um, Die Hard one. The yeah, Nugget Tommy Plus. Yeah, yeah those yeah, have yeah. problems. I enjoy them for what they were as far as solo games. That's not how games work. Okay, he's better. It's five dollars. <laughs> he's had a couple years. He it's five dollars <sighs> that you just gave this guy for no reason. You're never gonna print the game. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah it depends um, on if you. I feel like this is a decade week. joke. Like twenty years ago, be an old man. <laughs> like someday I'll print these right. games. The files are not even it's existing like anymore. anymore. It's commentary. Yeah. I, I like this video, by the way. This video is pretty clever. It might be good. The Nakatomi Plaza one, I keep forgetting what it's called. It's Hunted Kaba. They didn't call it Nakatomi. It's fine. It's so lucky, though. It's so it lucky. Did you play the Alien one, the um, Dexterity? I went... <coughs> Don't sound it's so much worse than the other one. It was. <laughs> <laughs> they also had a Santa one I didn't play. I'll tell you what. Look, look, this game looks better than both of those Hunted games. I didn't know it was the same guy. But this looks way better. There you go. This see? looks cute. I right. can see myself being like, oh, sure, a cute little thing you do in the time it takes you to drink a cup of coffee, sure. Yeah. And then he starts explaining it, and Bob it's like, you can do little quests. You can also have companions. You can also have items. 
You can also then fold out. I'm like, no, 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 no. You lost me. Right, yeah. I can just get a real game for that. The point is you're a fake game. You're a fake <laughs> coffee game. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay? <laughs> Be fake. Be small. Five dollars. You know what I mean? Like I don't get We're when a game tries you to be. You use five dollars. The price of a cup of it's coffee. It's twenty-four. Just don't get it. You know when a game is like, oh, we we fill a niche because no one else does tiny little things you can play while eating pie, but now we've developed it to the point that it's like a full thing. Like no, you missed the point. All right. Stupid I think it games. looks good. Anyway, every game this week I'll is play good, with you, though. Joey. So Thank you. Would Camilla? you like some mass fused glass D20s? Uh, can I read them? You can read the pink one slightly. Yeah, what's with the wispy thought oh. on something that big? Can I put a light underneath it and let it shine? It? I'm yeah. so confused. Look at the size of it, though, by the way. I thought these were small until you see someone holding one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's like... It's like a yeah, weird, it's like, like... It's this huge. thing, and I still can't see it. Yes. Like, you still can't you, see the the fonts on it. Yeah, like, oh, do you have... Gosh. Is that the idea that you put this on, like, a little lacy Susan with a light? You've got to. Is that That's, what it's for? I assume. And because I if so, they're... yeah, sure. Otherwise, I don't get it. And are they real glass? Because that's going to be a problem. They're, I believe, Godstone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you get five of them, you <laughs> yeah, Maybe you can control the universe. All that's right. It. Anyway. House of a Thousand Corpses. This disrupted work a lot today. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Joey, what you doing love there? horror I, things. I they were do. like you doing a deep dive into Rob Zombie. I d this is why I work in the we, office. We watched Dragula. No, um, you watched Dragula. <laughs> I did. I had to find it. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen it. Huh? Hold you on, take now? a break right now. Okay. No! <laughs> All right, I have not seen <laughs> this movie, by the way. I don't know why, but... Yeah, I what is not. the movie about? Does anyone know? The clown, it's about apparently. people who go into a house and get killed, probably. <laughs> There's a thousand yeah, corpses, like, thank you. Yeah, they do. No, I mean, like, I assume are all Rob like, Zombie's <laughs> themes are kind of all the same. The people, wanderers, get lost or killed or something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this one, they just see, like, gameplay wise, is a typical, except you're the bad guys now. You're you the killers are. chasing the victims or trying to get them before they can hit those exits or they hide. Right, that's what they come into the house and they were yeah. like just looking around the house and so you're like, oh, there's people in the house. You have to go find them and then make sure that they, you know, become one of your corpses to display. And, you know, you yes. cut off their bottom half and sew on a fishtail or something like that. But yeah. you're the yes. bad guy in this game? Yes. Yes. So you get it's out, okay. right? yes. You get the double of corpses when you kill them and, you, and the game's over when you get a thousand of them. That's not true. But <laughs> what is this disgusting, like, sew on a fish half thing? Have you not seen? Okay, never mind. Wait, have you seen the movie? Yes. Yeah, did you not watch have cartoons you not seen the movie? <laughs> Wait, he hasn't seen it either. So is I that haven't. is that a reference to this movie? Yes. Yeah. yeah he just laughed because he's never oh. seen it. Oh no, he I know what I know what it's about. Yes, yes. I know what it's about, like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, uh, okay, about and I've read the gameplay of it. Okay. It yeah, goes you into didn't know a game I'm a half fish person, did you? There's a card. Look, I was looking. card. I was looking at these victim cards. Is this the? Is this the guy from the office? No, it just looks like him. And this looks That'd like be like saying the guy Bush? next to him is Johnny Depp. That's the guy from Justice. Yeah, Life. that is like Johnny Depp right there. A second. <laughs> yeah, no, that's oh, not. that's um, Sarah Michelle Gellar. That's Jodie Foster. And, and that's the, the guy from Jurassic Walton, Park. That's Walton Goggins right there. That is Walter Goggins. <laughs> Waldo. Yeah. yeah, no, it's none of those people. Anyway, I haven't seen this movie either, but it looked. Mm. It looked trick or treat. I I like that no. they're doing all these properties. It's kind of yeah. wild the stuff they're doing. This one is right up their alley, and the game kind of looks macabre and fun. You it's know what light. I mean? You know, it's yeah. I like the idea that you're the killers in this house of a thousand corpses. I, I, I'm digging it. I would play. Yeah. It. I like the cycle of actions too. How you Someone move says, down, it is Rain keep Wilson. going. That ain't no Rain Wilson. Oh, interesting. No, it's not. You're thinking of the Meg. How Rain Wilson of a really thousand isn't corpses? The movie, is he? Yes. Safe yes. search on cast. It says he was in the movie. There he is! <gasps> in your face! That's wow. not Rain Wilson. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that should be telling me that's... that's ah. He late. like the only one I read. That's Walton Goggins! <laughs> oh. oh, so you're okay <laughs> to say yours? <laughs> what is happening? Well, How'd you pull his name? Is Johnny Depp in this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. That's okay, well, I guess maybe we need to watch this. 
Can we not? I know we really like horror movies. Let's watch it. All right, it's it's not like right. super scary. You'll be fine. You go to Halloween Horror Nights. That's not yeah. scary though. Well, that's, neither is the that's movie. Jump scary. Right. It's way scarier. No, no. There's yes. like no exit. Ex there's no dread. <laughs> I feel dread Absol when I go no, there. No, are you okay, kidding me? Okay, I've been once, Another and there was movie. dread all over my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, That's... Magi Knight Duel TCG. Now, I don't, I've actually stopped putting in trading card games for the most part, because I, we think they're scams, for the most part, or, yes. they're, or they're people just speculating. But if they get a lot of backers, I'll put them in. This is 700, so I put it in. <clears throat> There's also an existing game that's being brought back. Did you ever play Imagination? I did not. I played this back in the day. There's a lot of text on that card. There's a lot of text on the cards. This was all right. This I don't know what I rated, hmm. but I, I played personally it. dislike this style of artwork. It was very chibi. Um, anyway, it's been ages since I played this. I don't know what to tell you, but I've played it and I, I liked it. I, I've you know I played a lot of these old dead CCGs. This is in the better half. I'll put it that way. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's a neat. It's a neat game. It works well. It's just been forever since I played it, so I couldn't tell you much about it. I, I'm a little surprised that they're just. I don't understand when a game came out back in like 2003 or whatever, and it looked yeah. the way it looked, and then they bring it back. I'm assuming it's because they're not really doing a lot of developmental work. You know, this is just probably a reprint. But why keep them looking like that? Good night. They wonder, look like they came out back in, you know, 20 years ago. Well, he did say this is his friend's game who passed game. away, and so I'm wondering if he's walking that line of not trying to overhaul too much of the so friend's design. You know, I don't know if that maybe was a factor. I don't know. Yeah, I, I wasn't following that story very well. I don't think it's the friend's it's design, right? Like, Oh, that's what I got from it. I, I don't well, know. he like the friend was printing the game. Oh, okay. So it's and still then his passed design? away, and this person who became friends with them is now going to honor their memory by printing it themselves. Oh, okay, then maybe I misunderstood. I, the story. It was I a very short little. Yeah, it was a hard clip sort of message. Doing pretty well, two hundred thirty thousand. Yeah. How anyway, long this is like I said. This game has been out in the past. <laughs> years. So you can look it up. You ages. Can, you can look the game up and see what it's like. Hmm. My point being, there's there's That's, information out there as opposed to a lot of these the CCGs. Magic. You're like, I don't know anything about it because it doesn't exist. Yeah. This exists. The uh, Wagner baseball card was the first CCG. Anyway, <laughs> no, the first CCG here comes was a game called Way Out West. I don't know if he's serious. I can't tell. He's not. It's oh. the first. It's oh. the first worker placement game. Anyway, that was Ocean the first Slayer. Is that what CCG stands for? <laughs> the Bermuda Chronicles. Now this one. It's not funding. Why did I put this on the list? Not I don't even remember. Close to funding. Mm -mm, no, yeah. Why do you think it's not funding? I don't know. It looks pretty. It looks good. I don't agree with Follow both those Follow the cornucopia. Words. Go what? back up to that cornucopia. <laughs> that cornucopia is fantastic. Right there. Explain that to me, okay? <laughs> zoom in. Oh, is this what you were yelling about earlier? Oh, yeah, you got to that... zoom in on oh, the cornucopia. Yeah, Let like... everyone see it in all its glory. Look, there's bananas, <laughs> grapes, wood, steel, fish, beef, raw beef. <laughs> With grapes on top of it. I'm this is what I do with my Thanksgiving. <laughs> like, you can have anything you want for me. Just grab something out, eat it. I'll take a plank of wood, thank you. <laughs> I'm very confused by this. This is disgusting carnicopia. <laughs> Got splinters in my in my apples. The price is pretty high for this too. Yeah, this one looks like it's not gonna fund, so it's probably not worth our time really going yeah, so over. Yeah, this one looked a little bit uh, like kitchen sink to me. Yeah, you know, might be you can do this and this and this and this and this, you know. All right. Well, maybe maybe they're. But I am we with do you, it. Joey. I did. I was intrigued by it. Yeah, I'm surprised why it's like barely funded at all. All right, this one, which is going to probably make a million dollars. This one we just played, mm -hmm. so keep that in mind. We played this live here on the the Dice Tower um, with them. Uh, I I kind of went into this. So when I first saw this, I was like, oh, this game does not need more stuff. I got to say though. For a 3D piece, I really like that castle. It holds everything in the middle. Mm. I really like that. I would, I like to upgrade my games, and that's like an ultimate upgrade piece yeah, for Veiled is. Fate. Um, the different modules that added in, I like the one module that has that woman running around and Hadria. Yeah, Hadria. I like that a lot. I yeah. like that a lot. I like the monsters. I don't know that I would combine those two. I'd play one or the other. Yeah, I don't know that I cared the, for the monsters, the three of them. 
I also really like the new cards. We didn't play with them, but I looked through them and I liked that there was triple feathers and oh, stuff. Oh, that's nice. Other and more of, cards. of something you're already familiar with is a good kind of expansion, right? Yeah. Just the celestial rolls. That's where he played one with a different win condition. That's something I would do once in a while. If you have a, a group that's really familiar with the game, I think that would really switch it up in a in the, or somebody who knows the game really well. We had him do that. We're like, cool, you play this all the time. You get that role. Yeah. You know. And that's ultimately kind of the, the expansion you want is an expansion where you played, you know, the snot out of the game and yeah. you want to liven it up again. Yeah. It seems like this did that. I didn't play with you guys, but... You seem to all be having a good time. I liked what I was hearing and watching. So, seems like a, yeah, like a slam dunk. This game is kind of in the same bucket as Cosmic Encounter. Mm. Um, that whole idea of who's who, uh, you know, with cards, you're manipulating things in the board. Cosmic Encounter has a lot of that in it, too. I'm not saying there's a lot of differences, too, but I think it's more feel-wise. Yeah, sort of, but it's also kind of like, I bet Joey's the guy in last place and just you know, faking it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, you won and Chris won, but it was like a, it had like a weird swing at the end, right? So it was right, really, And yeah. again, that's like Cosmic Encounter. Sometimes has that weird well, thing that, that happens. weird swing, so we were both playing on going down, but I guessed him as a, the different color, so I thought, ooh, I, I thought he was the one that ended up behind me, but he was the other color that was kind of in the vying for winning there. Hmm. Um, and I will say, I think, I've never played the original, but playing with Hydria... Not liking social deduction and deduction games and that kind of stuff um, much. I think that made it enough to where it gave me a goal outside of deducing who is who mm -hmm. that it sang, sang with me. You know, I, I really did enjoy it. 49 bucks for all those modules is pretty good. Um, oh, it is, yeah. Well, 89 if you need the metal stuff, and I really do like their metal yeah. pieces. Did you see the wooden nice. board? If you do have a group oh, that yeah, plays, yeah, yeah. Like, like he was talking about how this is uh, him being Austin, the one who came in to, to teach the game. He was saying how this is the social deduction game that his wife will play because she doesn't like them because um, he's so good at them. Uh, it was a super humble brag just like that. And <laughs> so he was... Um, <laughs> you pulled it off well. You're very good at doing that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, anyway, so it was something like that, like this piece that, you know, you play and you get together and your family gathers you play. I could definitely see that wooden board being something that'd be like, yes, this is... That's in here, it, too? It is, yeah, mm. it's in here. It's gorgeous. That scorpion miniature is unsettling. Oof. I do like this game. I never played the expansion, like I said, but... This is one of my favorite games from, from IV Studios. Really? The, the Veiled Fade game, I do like it. And Ooh. I'm not kidding, I really good. like that castle. It's a way to put the people in the middle of the board, it holds the cards. I would get just the castle if, if, if that was sold at a store. And, and, and I like the game. I think it's cool. But it's functional, too, the castle. Yeah, it's like a card tray. It's okay. really what it is. It's just yeah. a fancy card tray. Hmm. It's neat. All right, tabletop gaming borders. Are you tired of stuff bouncing off the table and you want to buy expensive terrain to put on the walls? I do. I want to <laughs> use this for dungeon drop. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, what exactly was I this? I understand. Is it like go around a miniatures game? Or does that's, it just go around any board game? Oh, I thought it was a miniatures game thing. I think That's what I imagine. It is, it is a miniatures thing. It's just to put around the board. It's just a big wall. That's all it is. It's yeah. kind of a, a gimmick for that. And it's fine, you know, if you want something to... It's an artificial way to keep people in a certain area. Like, you can't go out. Why? Because there's a wall. Yeah. Okay. No, from that point of view, it's like, oh, okay, sure. I'm going to use it in X-Wing. You can't go off the Space table. Space walls. <laughs> there's a wall. You know? Yeah. These look nice, but... Eh, more terrain. There's a lot of terrain this week. Or, well, two. Can you run over these? You can do whatever you want if you buy it. Algae is yes. not yet funded. It probably will. Yeah. This is another one I'm curious. This is Game Brewer, and while I don't mm -hmm. necessarily love all their stuff, they have a pretty good rep still. They deliver their Kickstarters on time. Mm -hmm. Why is this one not busting the doors down? They don't. They've made a few duds though recently, haven't they? Well, they did that rule bender game or whatever. Yeah, they've had a couple of them that have. Well, been here we can look at their add-ons. Trolls and Princesses. Is oh, that and Amygdala game didn't really do much, did it? Has Bone Wars come out? We never got that one, did we? I don't think it's out. Think oh, no. So. no. I think we would remember that. Stroganov yeah, might like, like that one. They may, they've had some production think, issues, too, I maybe. think the, the problem for me with this one, uh, to, be, to be clear, I've 
this looks good and I would like to try it. But I did find this disconnect with, it talks about it being really heavy, but then tries to simplify the explanation, but the explanation is clearly missing so much that you can't grasp how the game actually plays. And so they're trying to simplify an explanation and make it approachable, but in doing that, you're, I'm very confused on what the game is, you know, yeah. or how the game plays. Um, is kind of where I, where I landed with them. Like, oh, I'm liking all these little things you're showing me. Cool, I can upgrade my little workshops and then put something between them so that it uh, makes the two locations trigger at the same time and upgrade my actions. Cool, that's exciting. That's something that I like. But how does that tie into the game? I don't know. It just left me feeling like there was holes in the explanation. It's still, I'm just kind of mind-boggling. That's pretty low. Like, I it's kind of fun, but... Ah, I agree much. with that comment there that says that mm -mm. The, the game looks bland. It does. It's a nice that's, looking cover in the game. The parts. artwork uh, for me is kind of like, ah, oh, yeah, it just looks kind of bland. It reminds yeah. me of that like Night Trains game, which looks kind of bland. Right. Looks very serious. Mm -hmm. You know, it looks like, it's going to be important to play this. I'm like, no. It's funny you say that because that was, I, I went back and checked twice. I was like, wait, this isn't an economics game? No, okay, it's not economic. Yeah. You know, it's like a yeah. couple times because looking at the actual board, it looks like it would be, mm -hmm. but um, but it's not. Almost like prototypey, yeah. All right, Jakarta traffic. This will look fun. This is this is a fun theme of uh, you know you're picking up a delivery, you're driving around as crazy traffic on your little motor scooters, <laughs> and I like that cover. And I, he's from Indonesia, so this mm -hmm. is you know he knows this, and this is something people deal with. The board's a little busy looking mm -hmm. which i think fits fits the theme right that <laughs> no, it's going to. and so i think my biggest concern I, I think this looks really good i like this pick up and deliver you have a couple different things going on you know you have to manage your cell phone battery because you're fighting the traffic out there <laughs> and it's chaotic it's right funny. the board is in constant flux i really like a lot of that my concern is you have this what is a four by four or five by five grid of, of tiles out there that you can rotate any which way yep. mm -hmm. to get that one up. Are you going to get one up and it pushes four aside, so then you rotate it and put it back down? Oh, you mean how hard it is to pick right, it up? Right, and, and then like put it all back in together and be like, okay, wait, no, oops, oops, I rotated one too many. Hold on, let me push everything back out so I can get that That's tile back again. Yeah, you know, Why do you think everything needs to be pushed out? It looks like I mean, just to be able to pick one up. These are all renderings. You're not seeing people actually picking one of those tiles up and rotating it. Well, maybe they just sit there, though. No, that's part of the game is you can pick it up and rotate it. No, no, no. What I mean is maybe they're just tiles. Then you can just put them a little bit apart from each other. It's not a big deal. And not if it's on a board. It's on a frame of board, and it's showing them. I mean, again, it's all rendering. We don't know. That's why I said it's a concern. I oh, yeah. how, thick, how fiddly does the game get? How yeah. quickly does it get fiddly? want a little uh, suction cup. Just... There you go. You well, it has a hole in the middle, though. You can't because the hole in the middle, the the middle is where yeah, you go to you deliver. Mean. Yeah, man. Checkmate. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it comes with some particularly right. sharp fork. <laughs> I will like. I do like how the guy has his own like soundtrack of just city noise. He just has put a, put a microphone there I in Jakarta, that was fun. and he's just like that way you can play it in the background. Like, come on, that's pretty awesome. Okay, I thought you were talking against that. I was like, one hundred percent. I would the get that soundtrack. The guy's pretty proud of this. Is yes. what it's about. There's two games this week, both of which have a digital soundtrack, and I'm like, yes, I would I definitely. Want that. I would even make 100%. Z play this with oh, the digital that's soundtrack. Right. If there's a hole in the middle, then that's how you pick it up. How? Explain it to me. You have a triangle. So watch this. Finger. So you put your, <laughs> yeah. You go down, no. and then you pick, and you But again, spin it. your thumb has to be on the other side. I mean, I don't, again, I don't know. It is a concern. I wonder how. I mean, look right there. You see, it comes up and how it rotates, and it fits in tight. It and obviously, perfect. levitates. I like the suction cup <laughs> idea, just so we know. Or I mean, throw up magnets. Okay. <sighs> That's how you do it. Magnets. This game is really doing well. Yes, it yeah. is. This game is interesting. The Galactic Cruise. The Galactic was Cruise was on. The Dice Tower cruise and was in play. That's where it was. Like yes. the whole time. Yes. I didn't I was like seeing it. it. Yeah, I yeah. keep seeing it. Yeah. Well, we yeah. sponsored the cruise a bit, so we had a table to demo on. But okay. I feel like I saw it on West Eye also. I've seen, I keep and seeing saw, it. I saw it at Essen. I at at Essen, relative. I thought it was for sale at Essen because it was a full production, it looks like, which means it should deliver pretty quick because the stuff we've seen looks does good. not look prototype. No. I got to say, this looks straight up like in person and here. Like a Lacerda game from Eagle Griffin. It absolutely. Yes. Does. Complete with quote, oh, yes. <laughs> complete with quote from Vital Lacerda <laughs> saying, it's saying I wish I'd made this. <laughs> 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 no, everyone who played it said it was good. I you know, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll wait till it comes out. I don't know how heavy it is, but it 
Heavy. Fantastic. For a first-time production, heavy, right? I like applaud. Yeah. This is yeah. a great first-time production. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Did did Ian O'Toole do the art on this, too? Or did, who did the Did we know? I don't know. I didn't see, but it looks, like it Ian O'Toole, looks very but, much yeah. like it. Do I know why the Murph brothers were wearing helmets in that picture? Mm. Okay. We don't no, ask you questions. don't. <laughs> You can try it on Tabletopia. <coughs> it 89 really bucks. That seems, I, again, for the box size, it's that really seems good. legit. Yeah. Of course, if you want the nice stuff, you're going to have to come down. And if you want to be upper and management. I do, and I do. This is, this is oh, oh, yeah. To be a revered investor? It is. I do. It is. Yeah, it is Ian O'Toole. Tool. Yeah. Yeah. Future uh, games expansions. This is definitely one of those. Chip I, Theory does that. This is definitely yeah. a must okay. play for me. But also a must have someone teach. <laughs> oh, really? Game, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, because that's my biggest thing with like Lacerda games and stuff. I'm like, ah, oh, but can somebody teach me? <laughs> I don't want to tackle it myself. Would you back that? I would. 500, you get all their. Oh, future not that games. one? 500, and you get every game that they make. It's so cute. So no, it's an untested company. Chip Theory does this with everyone. If you do take the still have first that vacuum, can you still do it? Or yeah, no? they, I just looked at it in the last one. There was 10 of them, and they sold out like that. They were like 750 or something. Really? I don't get it. I do not get it. I'm sorry. No. It's, it's a How can you talk crap on the, the, the CCGs being speculation, and then some company that has had zero games says, give us 500 bucks, we'll give you every one of the games we come I'm out with. Are talking to him or me? Both of you, whoever is in. I'm <laughs> asking him what, if he would do it. I You're didn't wrong. say I would do it. I, I mean, if I would you do had, it? I, I would be tempted by it. Then had I, I seen, oh, let me finish, sickened. please. Had I played the game, had I seen the prototype of me, because we've seen this for, it uh, seems like a year now. We've had multiple opportunities. Yeah. So I, if I saw the game, if I played the game, if I was confident in it, I would. I mean, it, it upgrades your game as well. You get all the deluxe bits, and I mean, you get the largest prototype. pledge. Plus things in the future. Could be board I would. member. Yeah. I don't think. I don't know. I just don't don't trust it. I guess. Would you this trust it? What about Chip Theory though? They've already done ten games. Would you do it for the rest of their games? They've had a they have a track record. I'm more likely to do it than this company might make one great amazing game. Then what? I'm not trying to persuade people to do it. I just no, no, mentioned I'm just saying, it. I there. think it's not a good. I don't know. It just seems like straight up gambling on this company being successful. Yeah. You know I think it's what I personality mean? differences. Yeah, you know, like you, yeah. it is straight You're up more gambling. trusting than you are. But I'm okay with the CCG game. It also yeah. seems like I don't know who's running this company. For all I know, they'll shutter this company, open another one under a different name. Bam! That's a different company. Okay, we've talked way too long on your distrust of Kins and Kings. Yeah, I don't trust anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just see if they're any available first. Anyhow, this looks good, and this, this has all the hard markings of a success. When's the... Because it looks pretty... I mean, the copy we saw looked like it was done. Oh, February. Okay, well, you got to wait for a year to get oh, it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really surprising that it's yeah, that far here. out. Because, like I said, we've seen it. Well, these wow. factories have a backlog, too, sometimes, of when they can produce stuff. Oy. Shogun Revised Edition. So Shogun is a proven game, and we just did a catch a palooza on we didn't play Shogun, we played Wallenstein. But I'll tell you this. It's based on the series. I personally would never back a large size queen game anymore. Because they really? keep making these revised mm -hmm. smaller editions. I'll just wait. If they don't make a revised edition of it, then it's crap. You know? But mm -hmm. they keep doing this. What if Queen had like an all future editions? <laughs> there it is. Down that would be the first time you would see a pledge with negative backers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, first of all, it would be five thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right I love this game, so don't you do? Don't get me wrong. I, I, I really do like this game a lot. Um, I think it's fun. I, whether Shogun or Wallenstein or whatever. They, for all I know, my reviews in here might not be though. <laughs> no, um, I agree with Tom. This is a great game. But hmm. the upgrade. At, Bits are a mixed bag. I like the plastic buildings. Yeah. The wooden armies. You said you, you you like the cubes. I like cubes. It's a cube. You throw them into a cube tower. Well, those are little guys. The cubed. size of a cube. I hate them. Okay. The acrylic revolt markers were fine. They're the coins good. are beautiful. Um, these acrylic swords did not look in good, as good in person as I thought they would. Hmm. So what's the difference Wait, here? So you already is, played this, this is, one with the upgraded bits. 
Hmm? Yes, it's a Queen game. This has been out. Of course, yeah. Catch up. But what's new then? This yeah. game has been out what's... for 24 years. I think it's 2000 or yeah, something. Yeah, it's, it's like it's a 2002 a or a 2004 Oh, I just assume game. these are upgraded bits. Those upgraded bits existed before. They exist also, yes. Everything here exists, Joey. No, the only thing is, okay, they, so they made the Shogun Big Box, and now okay. they're like, oh, what we actually mean is, here's the real size. Shogun Mid Box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and okay. here's the thing. I would want that Mid Box, because I would want to put that in... The library over the big one. Wow. It doesn't need to be that big. Anyway, huh. if you want to buy it, it's a great game. <laughs> that was very, <laughs> wow. I hope they quote your tone on that, too. <laughs> yeah. Here's a quote for the back of the box. Tom Vassell. Meh. You can use that. You can use it. I allow it. Whoo. All right. Robot Quest Arena Bot Battle. This is another one that's making He's half a million, so and I'm excited well. for these guys so well. because this is just... More stuff. That's really what it is. So the original yeah. game came with four robots, and then there were three boosters. You, I mean, three extra guys you could get, and one of them I think was Kickstarter exclusive, I think, mm -hmm. and the other two you could buy. And now there is four more robots, and then you also you can get the base game, even if it is that's Tom Vassell from that. That's an old Dice Tower logo there. Look at that. Oh, yeah, it is. I this game is just so much fun. It, it is, is a blast. To play this one. You can play. Oh, I this still is, have it. This is a Camilla game. Right here. This I is know. a real light deck builder. Just you just moving around, real shooting light. each other up, and then when you die, you just come back in and keep going. And eventually, someone wins, and it's just fun. It works it with like, kids. It works with adults. Like a simplified adrenaline, then. <laughs> Way yeah. simpler than adrenaline. I would I would say it's closer to Star Realms, but with a board. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, gosh, everything I hear about this game seems right up my alley. It's really light. Also, those are really f cute, chonky, pre-painted miniatures. I've seen them, yeah. Chonky. They were chonky. Yeah. That's like a mechs versus admit. minions type of miniatures I always think of. The price mm -hmm. is pretty high for an all-in type thing, though. Right? Like two fifty, three hundred. dollars Is that is what it, it is? Is it that high? It's pretty high. Wow. The I'm new like... robots are 90 bucks, but it's not just robots. You get a pack That's... of stuff with each one. Mm. Where are the pledges? Let's find them. Reward tiers here. Because it's so light. And now, much... new player, if you want to get just a game, 69 mm -hmm. bucks. That's okay. base game only. And the new box is 90 That's pretty pricey, So that's for this everything game. new. That see, it's I know it's good, I know it's worth it, but that's that's pricey. That's I'm sorry, I played this light? game I'm like mm, for I game that I like, that's a problem. Seventy dollars. I would, yeah, I wouldn't. I don't mind spending. I don't know, man. Games cost that much these days. I don't mind for a game like for me that I'm gonna play with my play group, but for one that I'm gonna play with my kid. No, nah, I would I would do this because being the kids we played a lot, right? If you're it buying this for a house, really? you're gonna play this over and over again. This hmm. this got. So beat up last year at Dice Tower East, mm -hmm. and I brought it in as on a whim. I got it the last second and brought it in. Hmm. It is a very good game. I do like it. Yeah, the minis look. But do you think the base is enough? Do you feel like you need more to it? What do we have now? Now the base. The, the base will last you for a while, yeah. but then buying. So these robots, if, if they, they're not all going to go to retail. I think three of them. That tack is not going to go to retail. But you could buy another robot, oh. and they come with. Something else, like in the the first one, one of them came with shields, and one came with event cards. I think that's the exclusive one, whatever. But they came with like some new kind of cards. But they come with a pack of cards, and that's fun. It just adds more stuff, hmm. and then some more obstacles that you can or not use. Hmm. It looks like these. It's hard to tell what each one does. These bring some more functions. This guy brings more attack. That these aren't even new things that these guys bring. They're just they're more cards. But I mean they're not. New types of cards. The game is definitely fun. I mean, it's if money is not the object, uh, an all-in is the way to go on this. It really is the game. That's if you want this giant storage box. I don't even know no, if that's I'm just necessary. Saying, I don't know about that. It's all the all the contents, all the playable stuff. I think I would just take those robots and throw them in the base box. Probably take them and throw them. Oh, is I there room in the base box? I think so. It's not full, is it? I don't no. think it's full. As long as you took the insert. Does no. our base box have the well, obvious. extras, right? Well, yeah. Come on. Come on. How we can do? The inserts don't exist. All right. Joke. Under our sun. There's so many big Kickstarters this week. You uh, all, all y'all backers have money. Damn. And actually, that <laughs> may be one of the reasons. Money more. That may be one yeah, of the reasons that's... Algie's not doing so well. Seriously, yeah. because money can only be spread so far. I mean, tough decisions, and when it is weak in one area, you know. Yeah. Do you want to be Earth, one of Earth's final survivors? That's up your alley, Z. I do, but I would sure, not Sure, I mean, one. why not? 
You Might know? as well. Oh, you and I would be like, where's the buffet? Yeah, I would not survive. Yeah. That's why dead. I like these games, because I can act like I'd survive. <laughs> They're fantasy. This is your kind of yeah, fantasy. Although, 100%. Although yes. I do love uh, these no, survivors. Definitely, these are their glamour shots. In Survivor, yeah, yeah. they're like, for yes. sure. Hang on, you're gonna be taking uh, my picture. Let me go wash up first. Yeah, 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 yeah no, for Absolutely. sure. Yeah, yeah. Like they're very cool. That guy just got a look at that hair guy's tie. hair. <laughs> yeah, right out of the. And she just got like, no one's hair looks like that. Right. <laughs> Anyhow, what do y'all think about the the game? Once we get to I like it, the crafting items. That's interesting. So th you know? this is this Give is a Zelda feel. All my all my buzzwords here in this really? project. I I love survival games. I love co-op no, games. Uh, I like when it has like a hidden trader element that you can or cannot, you know, you can add in or not use yes. depending on your play group. Or you're playing with a new I player because you know, it. play it, like like we always said in those games with a hidden trailer trader, it's going to be the person with the least amount of experience. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right, so right. Like, it's, it's just going to happen. So um, yeah, so I think it's. It, you know, I think um, Mike is saying up here, but semi-co-op, that semi-co-op is you can play with that hidden trader mechanism in it or not. I just wouldn't. Or to me, that's not quite semi-co-op. Hidden trader is different than semi-co-op, but it, that's what they're but using. But that's what they're using for it, yeah. And so it's like, but the item crafting, I love that. So like you have that. survival, you have that exploration, the resource management, the post-apocalyptic kind of feel to it. This is this is all my buzzwords. I'm super. The exploration, it kind of reminds me of like Robinson Crusoe in that. We have this hex yeah. board. You're going out and finding where can I get that resource so I can go over there. I went over there, though, so it's costing me this resource on my own player board. So now I need to go there and get that resource back so the, the planning ahead the, it, it looks what I saw a lot of high cooperation I mean, again buzzword 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 for me and my my tastes I'm um, somewhere between that and what Mike is talking about here this game reminds me the most of a game called salt lands which is also post-apocalyptic from a new company very cool theme kind of semi co-op some people might not not everybody might win if you can't escape and sure enough it's like yeah it's interesting with a laundry list of little problems that add up to a big problem. Right. You know what I mean? Especially with this much text in this game, from a new company immediately, I'm like, ooh, that puts me on edge. Crowdfunding, so there's fewer people who might put eyes on all your text mm -hmm. and spell check it and worry about clarity and worry, you know, all those things. So, yeah, I'm cautiously optimistic on this one. And Mike says, yep, that's the game I was just thinking oh, of, too. One. Oh, okay. so. I'm thinking of the other one. What's that one that you went around in Australia, but it was like in the... It was almost... Waste Nights? Yes. That's oh, what, does yeah. that looks a little like that, It maybe? looks a little like that, too, yeah. I'm yeah. cautiously pessimistic. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't I like mean... like that. I like that. What I mean by is, I don't think I'm going to like it, but I could be swayed. That's, that's more like Got that. It, like, yeah. I don't... The post-apocalyptic thing isn't interesting to me, and the semi co-op makes me worried. It's when you when you mix co-op with wastelands, it's always like you're gonna die, you're gonna die. <laughs> you look that way, you're dead. You you open the box, you're dead. That that sort of thing. Yeah. I don't know if I love that. All right, yeah. last project of the day is from Camilla. Yes. All right, so let's do picks of the week. Oh, you want to talk about it? Go ahead. I can. Yeah, I'm happy to. No, this is the company I use. This is the wet palette that I use. It looks like a Game I'm, Boy Advance. I'm really <laughs> no, I, I really like this uh, this wet palette that I have with them. So this is just a new iteration of their wet palettes. They have a small little uh, travel one and then a really big one as well. The big one I was interested in because if I'm painting like with my son or somebody else, um, or, or batch painting, you know, with somebody they're, they're doing the first half, I'm doing second half. So I have to have one palette <laughs> that you're pulling from together is really cool. I like that. But the biggest thing, and I actually back this uh, for the light. I like the light that they're offering. Um, I don't know if you saw it. I, I really like the versatility of the light, which is, we'll get there. I'll get there. I'm so moving. We'll keep going. <laughs> oh, they also partner with like Turbo Dork. And so Ooh, Turbo Dork like has that. these really cool, like the silicone pop trays, which I use of, of like for my metallics or something like that. Because when you're done with it, yeah. you just let it dry, then you just pop it out and make cleaning so much easier. So I partnered with them. But then this is the thing I like. I really like oh, the versatility nice. of the light and all the different ways you can, you know, do the art of your paint yourself, put it around here. If I paint with my son, okay, I'll do that arm straight and let him have his little light area. So I'm, I'm super excited about this. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've used some of this stuff too, and I really like it. I'm not as knowledgeable about I wet like palettes and, and paint cup and mm -hmm. any of that stuff, but it's the stuff I've got too, and it's really good stuff. I, I like this stuff a lot. Yeah. I go with miniature holders too. 
if I was time stamping this, I would call it Game Envy. Mike. Game Envy. What? He asked for oh, time stamping oh, oh, purposes, purposes what it's called. Got it. Game yeah. Envy, yeah. Yeah. yeah, these guys have been at um, oh, yeah. different conventions, mm -hmm. and they always have a really neat booth with, again, all their little accoutrement and, and brushes and little, like, yeah, miniature little holder stuff. things, mm -hmm. like, just fun stuff. So I, I, I like what they do. I want to say yeah, that's part of the one thing I haven't used is their little miniature holder. Mm. Um, I'm definitely just, you know, have my... Um, Prescription bottles with the labels oh. pulled off with a little bit of tack on top. Like I use I, hot sauce <laughs> bottles. Do you? Yeah, same yeah, thing. I was just, like, yeah, yeah, I'd love I to get to, into yeah. something like that, but it just seems like a high entry point when you know I was gonna, mm. I was throwing these away. My trash works just fine <laughs> right yeah. now. So anyway, yeah, I I like this a lot. All right, well, let's take a look at our picks of the week. First, we'll start with Chip Theory, and then we'll give ours. Go oh, ahead. Wait, wait. Mike's right. Uh, you never did Mark. Oh well, before Ooh. we do Mike, let's do Mark. Stream. This spotlight is brought to you by Grimsteel Games. Do you have what it takes to be the next DWC World Champion? Diabolical Dave's Rumble Throwdown is a board game that captures the excitement of the golden era of pro wrestling, pitting players or wrestlers against each other to, against each other to vie for the ultimate prize, the DWC World Championship belt. You will start your wrestling careers at the bottom ranks of the DWC, each round or weekly event, you will face off against a colorful cast of superstar challengers and get rewards for winning matches with better moves and gear to rise through the ranks, from the opener tier to becoming a main eventer. The first player to win and defend the DWC World Championship is the winner. With over-the-top action, unique superstar opponents, and other players providing move-by-move -move commentary for every match, DDRT delivers action and humor at every turn. Welcome, rookie, to the Diabolical Wrestling Council, the DWC. For more information, please check out the campaign, which is now live on Kickstarter. Hey there, everybody, Mike Delicio at the Dice Tower Midwest Annex, and this week my unsanctioned pick of the week is going to be Roth from uh, Chip Theory Games. This one obviously got my attention with the tremendous art from uh, Manny Tremblay, who's done a lot of great art uh, for board games, and he's also the designer of this one. And so I'm intrigued by a Chip Theory game that is going to play so quickly and is not going to be a huge rules teach and uh, looks quite a bit lighter than their other more lifestyle type games. So my pick of the week is Roth. Let's see what the rest of them have to say. That's a good one. This is a tough week to pick. Yeah, really really there's, a lot, there's a lot of good stuff. I think I know yours mean. though, maybe. What do you think it is? I think yours is that Etherstone game. It is Etherstone. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Because he has a soft spot yeah. for CCGs, and this oh, has a little like, bit yeah. of that in there. Yeah, wow. this is cool. I mean, yeah. I don't know what it is. This oh. is talking to me, man. Um, there's a lot of good stuff this week, though, uh, but but this one is the one I'm, as of right now, the most intrigued by, and that's kind of what my pick is about, you know, which one am I most kind of excited about, intrigued by, huh. the, there's a couple of other games that I'm intrigued by, and definitely the mm -hmm. Game Envy stuff I think is awesome, and if you're into that stuff, you should check it out, but this game has got me... Yeah, salivating a little bit. I, I, I love okay. that there are lately so many of these kinds of games. Sort of, you know, trading card game without being collectible vibe. There's a lot of these games lately, and this looks to be another winner. So, that's my pick. Ryan, what about you, Camilla? Uh, I didn't want to go next. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm... I'm going to go with the last one, the Under the Sun. I, I'm really struggling not picking really? the Flashpoint Legacy. I'm super, super stoked about that. And then the Game Envy I already backed. So uh, my excitement kind of went down last week after I backed it, right? Good. I'm good now. This one, like I was saying, though, it just it's its all my buzzwords. It's I, I love the cooperative nature. I love survival. I love that resource management, kind of the exploration, crafting items, you know, and really trying to have those 
tough decisions of okay what do i craft but also how do i what can i get the resources to even craft and right. is it worth the time and the resources too or do i put that elsewhere i just it's very very much my play style i am i was caught off guard the most and that's kind of what i'm you know basing my yeah. pick on is which one i didn't see coming and didn't expect this one definitely kind of swept me up into the campaign so really excited about it yeah, well, Quest Over Coffee, I already backed, so Did I need you. to pick that. Mm -hmm. But no, it might be Flashpoint, I think, just because I'm very oh, hopeful so. on... This is also mine. Man, oh. if that has, has a good... There are so many storylines that are available of, like, oh, no. a fireman going through. It's I mean, basically backdraft. Yes, that's what, I'm oh. that's what I'm envisioning. Oh. So there is an arsonist. Well, yeah. the is a backdrop, right? Yes, but also spoiler alert, okay? And I'm only 30 years old. Yeah, well, it's not long enough. I can't watch everything, okay? <laughs> I'm on it? a Ron Howard kick right He's now. He's got to touch the door first. What but do you no, think the movie's some, about if there's not an arsonist? Just okay. random fire starting? <laughs> yes. That's fire starter. <laughs> so most, yeah, yeah, it's a Stephen King crossover. I would definitely get that IP on this. But no, it looks great. I, I think it's... Yes, it talks to the sun in the future. Oh, it's a different firefighter. That's frequency. Yeah, $60 <laughs> for a legacy game like this. That's a good price point, too. That's about where I would want a legacy game. Yeah. Any more than that, legacy games are hard to justify, right? Yeah, and I'm also like, not sure how... It's replayable. It's not so bad. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess I meant true legacy. Yeah. Not like, but, I mean, I also can't think of any game I that like I want to replay. Stuff. Like, if I pandemic right. season... I wonder X, you know, whatever it was, I would never go back and yeah, play my custom board. Yeah, back. That's fair. I don't know if Ticket to Ride if I played that at all after we finished it, but, you know, yeah. first playthrough would be good. All righty. Well, there you go, folks. That is our picks of the weeks. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow morning for Board Game at Smorgasbord. And then tomorrow Ooh. afternoon, a top ten list of, what is it, top ten games that need a reprint? They need a second yeah. edition. That second edition, not reprint. Both come back. Yep. But you know, many many instances come back, but also with a little with a little, little extra something. Oomph. They need a little, they need a little something. Little, little yeah, a little they tweaking, a little, little, little something. alteration. <laughs> okay, a second edition. A big box. You listening, Queen? <laughs> no, that All is right. not the list. I'm not in that list. He so. is backing his every Queen game for the rest of his yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, He's you actually already emailed me about that. Yeah. If we see that show up on the next Queen project, we'll be like, Joey. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what, did you, what email did you send? All right, folks, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Joy Evans. I'm Camilla. I'm Z Garcia. Have fun painting. Yes. I will. <laughs>